Make a spiral-shaped pillow first. Take fabric of three colors. We've chosen felt. Cut out strips of the same width. The pillow size depends on the strip's dimensions. You can make it bigger by increasing the strip's size. Fold the felt this way. Add a bit of hot glue to the edge and fold up. The glue cools fast, so apply it by small portions. We've prepared three felt tubes. Stuff them with any synthetic cushion filling. Spread it across the entire length. Make three of the same details. Hot glue one end. Fasten the three details together. Turn them over this way and spiral the rainbow tubes. Hot glue each coil. Tuck the loose ends inside. Fasten with the hot glue. Press down with your fingers to make the right shape. We've got such a bright curve. Mmm, it looks like a real marshmallow. It's soft and smooth and very cozy. There's never too much sweet. We've made a bigger pillow in the same way. Another pillow of a more classic shape is a must-have for the cotton candy lovers. Take a square light fabric bag for a base. Make sure it is turned face up. Stuff it with hollow fiber filling. Sew down. We've got a classic small square pillow. Tuck the corners inside and hot glue. We've corrected the shape in this way. Take a piece of fabric to cut out into equal strips. Make soft tubes of several colors. Fill up the details across the entire length. Wrap each tube around the base at a slight angle. Fasten them at the junction and hot glue. Attach the tube to the other side of the base. Make another coil pink. Follow the same steps. Hot glue the tubes. Make the last felt ring a bit smaller. Snip off the excess at an angle. Tuck the ends inside, securing with the hot glue. Cover the side with a blue felt piece. Put it under the last tube. Attach with the hot glue. Cover the other side with the fabric as well. It looks awesome! The cute pillow will offer a nice touch to your decor. This time, we'll be making a cheeseburger-shaped pillow. We'll need a cardboard base. Trace any round object of the appropriate diameter twice. Cut out the details using a craft knife. Place the base on the thick felt. Cut off the excess. Pull up the fabric to shape a bowl. Put the filling inside. Press with the base and hot glue the edges. One half is prepared. Repeat for the second one. Make the bun golden brown using acrylic paints mixed with water. Spray both halves carefully. Sprinkle some sesame seeds on the top half. We've made the sesame seeds from the light hue felt. Hot glue the seeds. Make a lettuce leaf from a vivid green felt strip. Fold it in half across the length and hot glue. Attach it to the bun, gathering the fabric to make the lettuce look natural. Repeat for the other half. Wow! It looks delicious! Continue making a topping. Cut out a semicircle from the sponge to make a tomato slice. Trace it on the red felt and cut out two details and a strip. Attach the felt to the sponge. Correct the shape. Make five details of different sizes. Place the tomato on the lettuce, protruding slightly over the edges. Let's make a burger. Measure out an appropriate diameter and height of the burger. Hot glue a wide fabric strip to the paper, leaving some space for the filling. Stuff the tube with hollow fiber filling across the entire length. Attach to the second half of the bun, joining the ends to form a ring. We are making a cheeseburger, so keep in mind the cheese. Fold yellow felt in half. Hot glue both ends. Turn it inside out to get a square pocket. 
Place two cheese slices on the bun, attaching the corners to the burger. There is an onion missing in the topping. Roll up a white felt tube. Fasten with the hot glue. Cut off the excess. Define the tube length you need to make onion rings. Hot glue the onion to the tomato. Let it project this way. Join the bun halves. Hot glue them to form a tasty cheeseburger pillow. Your friends will surely appreciate this original decorating item. The only drawback is that you'll think of something to eat each time you look at it. Take a long mascara throw pillow with you for your outdoor rest. It'll also decorate your interior and make your couch extra soft and cozy. We'll need a yellow fleece. Any other soft and thick fabric will do. Fold it in half, wrong side up. Draw a long mascara shape with a marker. Cut it out. We've got a barrel-like shape. Cut off the top. Hot glue the bigger part across the edge. Repeat for the top. Turn it right side out. Repeat for the tube. We've got a neat straight seam. Leave the top open. We'll close it later. Take two fleece strips of lavender color. Hot glue both sides. Turn it right side out. Fold up and hot glue the top edge. Repeat for the tube. Attach the lavender strip to the top. Hot glue to the tube. We've attached the strip across the perimeter. Cover the bottom. Make it firm. Attach the fleece circle to a smaller cardboard detail. You can use a plastic base instead of cardstock. Cover the bottom. Use the open top to stuff the pillow. We'll need hollow fiber filling. Pass it through. The mascara isn't flat anymore. Close the top hole in the same style you did the bottom. To complete the tube, add the mascara name. Make lavender fleece letters. Write the name and cut it out. Have the mascara or its internet image before your eyes. Place the letters on the pillow. Hot glue the name. Attach the letters in the same order they lay on the pillow. Wow! It's a great mascara tube. Or is it a throw pillow? The giant makeup will make your outdoor rest comfortable and your room smart and cozy. Besides, it can make an awesome gift for your friend. What a gorgeous blush! It looks exactly like the famous brand box. Come on, let's do it! We'll need two cardboard bases. Place one circle on the black fleece. Trace it, leaving allowance to attach. Cut it out. Make two basic details. Place the filling on top. Cover it with the cardboard. Put it under the cover. Attach the fabric. It'll be the bottom of the box. Make the middle part smaller in size. It'll be the blush. Cut it out from the dark pink fleece. Continue in the same style as the black bottom. Place the filling in it. 
Cover it with the cardboard base. Hot glue the fabric. Join the blush with the box. Hot glue across the edge. Place a plate on the black circle. Trace it and cut it out. Make the edge neat. Fold up and attach. Place the pink circle on the cardboard base. Cover it with clear plastic. Place the black ring on. Assemble the top in this order. Join the details, add the filling, cover it with the cardboard, and hot glue the fabric. Write the brand name on the plastic. We'll need big size lettering. If you don't have a template of the appropriate size, find the logo on the internet. Make it full screen. Press the plastic against the screen and trace the letters with the marker. Perfect! Finish assembling the top. Attach the black fabric ring to the cardboard base. Cut off the excess. Cover the cardboard with the black circle. The top is ready. Assemble the blush box. Join the parts with a fabric strip. Hot glue it under the blush. Attach it to the top. Marvelous! The Smart Throw Pillow looks like the real blush box. The size is comfortable and it can open and close like the genuine blush container. There's never too much of the soft makeup. Let's make a giant EOS lip balm. It'll make your rest more comfortable both inside and outdoors. Take a pale pink fleece. Lie it on the flat surface, wrong side up. Outline the bottom of the container. Draw a straight line. Make a curved line for the wall. Repeat for the other side. Draw another straight line on top. Cut it out. Fold it in half and smooth the fabric. The sides don't coincide. No problem. Cut off the excess. Make two of the same bottom details. The underside should be wider and the top is rounded. Make two details of the top part. Hot glue across the outline. Put one part inside the other. Make sure to join the right sides. The seams coincide. Attach the details across the edges. It'll be the middle of the container. Hot glue. Turn it right side out. Make the bottom. It fits well. Fold it in half. Put it in. Align the edges. Hot glue. The details are attached well. Turn it out and smooth. Stuff it with a filling through the open hole. We use hollow fiber filling, but you can take polyester or any other similar filling. Cover the hole with the fabric circle. Fold up the edges. It looks like this. Adhere. Attach the balm name on top. We've cut out the letters from dark pink felt. Hot glue. This soft makeup is more like the regular pillow size and shape. And it still looks like the EOS lip balm. The soft and nice to touch throw pillow is a cute interior decor item. The stunning makeup throw pillows will make your home sweet and cozy. Today, we'll show how to make unusual throw pillows from pipe insulation. We'll need pipe insulation of seven feet long, foam rubber, circular knitted fabric, thick yarn, a plumb bob, something small and heavy. Hot glue the end of the yarn to a plumb bob. Pass it through the insulation. Hold the tube vertically to let the bob fall down. Pull the end of the yarn out of the tube on the other side. Tie a knot on the foam rubber. Fold the end. Wrap the yarn around. 
pass the foam rubber through the insulation. Just pull up the other end of the yarn. Make a circular fabric strip of 10 inches wide. Cut out one side. If you fail to find circular knitting fabric, seam several strips together. Unfold the cloth. Place the tube across the length. Sew down the fabric edge to the insulation along the tube. Wrap the pipe tightly. Fold the fabric edge inside. Seam across the tube length. Cut off the end of the foam rubber and the excess cloth. Repeat for the other side. Make another of the same tube. We should join the two details. Roll up the fabric edges. Hot glue the foam rubber and insulation. Now, join the fabric. Roll it down. Fold the edge inside. Seam around. Let's tie a Carrick Bend Mat Knot. Shape the first loop. Make another one next to it to form a heart shape. Place another loop on top to resemble a trifold. Put the loose end here. Then here. Form the last fourth loop and repeat from the beginning. Double the first loop. Then the second. The third. And the fourth. Return the tube to the other side to meet the end. Now, we should join them. Hot glue the insulation and foam rubber. Be careful, don't get burnt with the hot glue. Use scissors to help tuck the material. Now join the fabric edges. Fold the upper edge inside. Stitch around. Cool! The awesome woven throw pillow is ready! Make another pink one and the two stunning details will splash new colors into your interior design.